So today it's a July in beautiful Los Angeles, about 1.10 outside, and we're going to talk about the Prius C, that's one of the most common car you can see in Los Angeles, California. So what's good about it, what's bad about it, I mean, one of the bad points, this car discontinues, so you cannot buy the new one anymore. They might going to come back on the market later on, I'm not sure, I have no idea, but right now Toyota going a little bit different direction, they're doing those kind of crazy EV battery with huge amount of range, but the Prius C is going to be a huge part of the history Toyota production and uh, it's a cool car, I like it a lot because it's a compact size, it's really small and comfortable to drive around the city, you're going to save some money on the gas as I always going to say about it and plus it's a problemless car, almost, there is some few little things you might going to uh, go out or you might going to notice there is something wrong that like like the bulbs on the headlights. That's a common problem, they're always going bad, so go on eBay or Amazon, just buy 10 of them and keep it at the house. You know why? Because on eBay, you're gonna buy it for five, ten dollars each. If you're gonna go, go Amazon, I mean, if you're gonna go AutoZone and buy it directly over there, you're gonna pay more than 20 bucks. That's just crazy. So the tail lights on this car, they're constantly going bad. Somehow the rubber or whatever it is, so all the dust and water going inside the tail lights and they just stay in there. And they're kind of expensive. I mean, they're not so cheap. So the engine transmission on this car, it's almost unbreakable. So it's gonna, they, your engine, believe me, they, on this car, it's gonna run forever. I did see the, a lot of cars, more than 300,000 miles, and the runs just beautiful. So the people doing uh, maintenance, oil change on time, the spark plugs almost never going bad, transmission, maybe once I heard it was like water damaged and it shorted out, but uh, battery, might gonna go bad. The, ACDC converter might gonna go bad, but it's not that expensive. All the parts on the body, just the doors, they kind of four, five hundred bucks for the driver door. The rear one, they worth nothing. The fenders, about forty, fifty dollars. Headlights, about sixty dollars. The bumper, about hundred dollars. And the radiator, about hundred each. Hood, about one twenty. It's a cheap car. That's why it is a pricey to buy it, use one. So the used cars right now, they go in between, I would say, if it's a decent mileage, decent condition, go in between 10 and like 14, depends on the year, mileage, but it's a minimum, you can buy good Prius C. If you want to buy something cheaper, it's going to be high mileage or it's going to be salvage or some other kind of problems you don't want to see. See, this color, it's beautiful. I used to have like five of those, right now I have three. I'm calling it Tiffany, it's not Tiffany color, basically, but it's super nice, it's not white, not black, um, what's common about the paint, so sometimes you might gonna see the clear fading on the car, on the Prius, not only on the Prius, on all Toyotas, so on the top I already can see the clear almost gone, and sooner or later I'm gonna have to paint it, but I'm gonna sell it, I'm not gonna touch it. What about the rims? It's a standard size, 175, 65, 15, so the tires cheap on this car. And because it's a Prius Y1, Prius 2 actually, uh, edition, it has a hub cap. So some other one, three, four, they do have a uh, alloy rims. It doesn't matter. Honestly, whatever it is, it is cheaper. If you're gonna scratch the hub cap, you're just gonna buy it $50 for all four of them. That's why this car worth money. That's why this car you cannot buy it for three, four thousand. Because the maintenance, uh, the price of living with this car, it's super kind of cheap in my opinion. So what's really good? What's really bad? There is nothing really bad about this car. Like I say, what's really good? It's a compact size. Plus it has uh, five seat belt so basically you can put five people in the car it's really hard to be three people on the back but believe me i did see the people who travel and they got this prius and it's been three huge people sitting on the back there is a lot of bags there is a lot of uh luggages they've been in the trunk the car was just like a rocket and still was driving the car went to utah to nevada came back no problem i never heard about overheating I mean, maybe once or twice, but your water pump might gonna need attention about 120,000 miles, not before. So easy to drive car, easy to maintain, cheap to keep it alive, and it's cheap 
to get to keep it beautiful it's not that expensive to replace any part if you're gonna scratch it or damage the bumper somebody gonna hit you just paint it fix it because this car not gonna do depreciation it's still gonna appreciate more because it's less and less cars on the market right now on the used one because they get an accident new cars not existed anymore and junkers they still have a lot of parts for this car you can buy it easily if you want to find it there is a lot of parts i i was thinking when the first time long time ago i see the previous c i was thinking that's exactly the same as the previous regular one but they're just smaller no it's not most all of the parts on this car they are different i'm not talking about some parts from suspension maybe the engine is different different the battery is different yeah it is different because the cells itself it is the same but the amount of cells it's less so what about the rest ecdc converter it is a different the steering wheel it is the same that's uh that's one of the thing i would say same between this prius and the regular one headlight bulbs and the steering wheel the rest it's totally different car so what's going on under the hood it's a 1.5 small four cylinder engine i never heard about spark plugs going bad i never heard about something else main going bad like i say the water pump it's electric same as on the regular one and you might have to replace it after 120,000 miles otherwise your engine gonna overheat and it's gonna do damages a lot so there is a part of the maintenance i would recommend i would say in my experience after 100,000 miles you have to clean the egr because it's gonna affect your uh, fuel efficiency and it's gonna affect the drivability of the car basically your engine gonna get less power if your egr gonna be plugged up the rest it's super easy it's most of the part you can do it yourself even ecdc converter a long time ago on one of the car I, maybe that's the one i replaced it myself because i see there is numbers uh made on it so that's from the junkyard for sure what else nothing else super easy super simple nobody cares about it but same time car do not care itself about the driver about the owner because this car gonna survive it doesn't matter what even if your hybrid battery going bad and check engine light is on and the car losing kind of power you're still gonna be able to drive it on a hybrid toyota kia hyundai they're not gonna be able to drive it if you're gonna reset the check engine light even if your battery fuck getting um, bad you can reset the check engine light and the car gonna drive again really good and if you know how to maintain the battery charge you might gonna be able to drive a bad battery without check engine light for some period of time that's just amazing i mean i have no idea uh what about the other cars what else i can compare to the prius i cannot compare any other car because the prius it's number one that's why it's super popular that's why it's still on demand even 20 then prius you cannot buy it for five thousand it's going to be just junk believe me or not so the design of the car it's super simple super easy everybody can recognize it that's a short back short car really small and uh, it's super attractive at some people at some point for some people so like i said the tail light it's a common problem they getting dirty inside so all the dust and the water getting in even if it's hot outside you might gonna see the watermark still there so what about the trunk area uh trunk area it's kind of okay if you want to drop the back seat you're gonna have more space can i put myself in the trunk it's really hard to put myself but if i really want it if i really want to put the someone i can still do it but it's just easy super nice any grocery bags whatever it is you just put it in and that's it so if you get an idea about the previous c if you know why you buying it and what you're going to use it for maybe that's your second car or third uh buy it why not because there is still some nice units on the market they are kind of expensive they're not cheap anymore but you still can buy it and even if you're gonna go through the dealership some of toyotas they really badly want those kind of prius c because they super demand they super high demand units doesn't matter what is it a huge difference between uh regular prius and prius c yes it is so the gas tank itself a little bit smaller the engine on this car it's a 1.5 on a regular prius it's 1.8 so i mean the idea about the same so this this engine still has uh, an ajar system same as the bigger one but the engine smaller i would say it's engine from the toyota yaris hybrid battery itself 
it's a little bit shorter so it has smaller amount of cells on the battery so when the battery going bad on the previous C in from my experience it, it's going bad about 150 160 thousand miles so that's about the same as on the regular Prius so from my understanding uh, it was the Prius is smaller the car is lighter but the people using it uh, kind of abusing it that's why the battery itself not living long enough so it's living about the same uh, amount of time it's living about same amount uh, same mileage as a regular Prius so what's the point of buying this car again that's only point to buy Prius C in my opinion if you want a hybrid you want to save money but you don't want a bigger car you want something smaller so you can park your stuff and just park it anywhere uh, plus it's comfortable I mean to drive in myself I understand I'm not driving a CV I understand I'm not driving huge uh, not huge I'm not driving mid class so I'm driving the car economy uh, comfortable and uh, kind of you, you can easily steer it you have a smaller hybrid battery you do have a smaller engine you do have a smaller gas tank you do have a smaller uh, wheels and the tires the size of the tires a little bit smaller so it gives you what you need for the Prius economy uh, steering and all that kind of stuff cool point Prius C has a full not full size it it is a donut spare tire but it's not tools it's not like pumping air uh, uh, not air pump not some plugs or some glue it has a spare tire in the trunk even this car is so small it's still there but the jack it's sitting right here I cannot pull it out right now but we're gonna show it to you it's sitting right under the the driver's seat that's really interesting whoever designed it they probably were not thinking about the ladies girls they're gonna drive this kind of car in case of something they're gonna open the trunk and they see there is a donut there but there is no jack so they have to go manual or they have to go call, call someone but the only car I know who's doing exactly the same that's the Ram 1500 or 2500 doesn't matter so the Dodge Ram they used to do jack and all the tools to change the spare tire right under the passenger seat but the Toyota and the Prius C they went opposite way they put it right there so the dashboard on this car and the cluster itself it is a different from the Prius so number one it's not only green in the middle you do have a multicolored display and it is a display so basically when you change it there is all kind of it's like a LCD monitor it's like the, the small iPhone because this car they started doing it back in 2012 I think the first yeah 2012 Prius C just came out on the market and I think 2020 or 2019 they stopped doing it uh, but for 2012 Prius C and this one has an actual key it's not push start button so that's the Prius that's the Prius 2 because this car has a USB and AUX so basically Prius 1 they don't have it they might gonna have aux plus controller the steering wheel itself on the Prius C it's exactly the same as a regular Prius so you can switch it if needed so there is a lot of different parts you might gonna say uh, it is the same but it's not so the Prius C has climate control like a regular Prius all of them comes with climate control that's cool all the Prius C they do have an EV mode and Eco mode Eco mode it's gonna reduce the power of your EC because EC on this car is really strong so what's happened that the main problem not the main but one of the problems I faced on the Prius C that's the heater core so the heater core the flippers inside they just fall apart that plastic and your EC not gonna blow the blower gonna work but they see it's not gonna be it's gonna be hot all the time because the the blending door over the years it just drying and the small legs they they breaking down so it's not opening it's gonna heat it up uh not gonna cool it down you have to remove the dashboard to get to the heater core and replace it completely so once your blending door your heater core is good EC blown on this car like crazy right now I do have a 74 and I'm driving an eco mode and EC is still super strong 
if I'm gonna go on not a commode and turn my EC all the way to low, it's just gonna be super freezing cold inside the car. Even it's a 110, I think at about 110 outside right now. So that's super cool. AC is super strong. If you're gonna get your windows tinted on the Prius C, nobody can see what's going on inside. And uh, it is a comfortable ride. It is a comfortable ride, but even VW uh, Atlas, whatever it is right now, he doesn't care. Uh, he wanna squeeze me to the wall. I never heard about CVT going bad on any Prius, Prius C or a uh, regular one. Sometimes people mistaken about the problems. There is a, a DC converter ACDC converter, the one is uh, transforming your engine power into the battery all together, hybrid system, whatever. So sometimes mechanics, they say your transmission shorting out. It's super, super rare when transmission is shorting out on site and you have having a problem with hybrid system. Usually that's your converter going bad. And uh, I had to replace it once or two times and it's about $90 from the junkyard, 100 maybe, because it's super rare when it's going bad and uh, they're not selling it like crazy. The engine is cheap, it's about four, 500 bucks to buy it. The battery, because it's hybrid battery, they're using the same sales as uh, for the Lexus, for the Toyota, all the other hybrids, uh, and on and on and on. Nissan, Chevy, Cadillac Escalade uh, hybrid, they have exactly the same cells. But like I said on the freeway, it's not comfortable car to drive. I mean, on the short distances from here, from A to B, yes, that's cool. But do not expect comfortable driving all the way to your point Z. A, B, C, max, that's it. There's a lot of catalytic converter, criminal elements. So, what the people doing? I mean, you can see there's a multiple, a lot of different videos online when they doing uh, power sozzle and they just going around jumping under the car and cutting it. So what's cool about it, when you're checking those videos, you're laughing because the people driving Mercedes, there is one famous guy, I think on a yellow Lamborghini Urus, they've been cutting uh, in South LA, catalytics on the Priuses, they're just crazy. I mean, the black Lexuses, Mercedes, Teslas, you, you, you name it. All the cool cars, they're just going around the areas and cutting the catalytics from the Priuses. So they're taking money from the poor people because they don't care. They need to make a payment for the Urus or Lexus or whatever they're driving. That's just crazy. That's insane. So what's, uh, what the people doing? You're right, they buying $50 protection from Amazon and suddenly, somehow, it works. If you're gonna put that kind of protection, so the people with sozzle, they're gonna jump under the car, there's a protection, they're thinking, oh, I'm gonna spend some time to cut the protection and somebody gonna come and kill me. Because in South LA, it's already been shooting several times when uh, they're trying to steal the cut and the people uh, resisting. I mean, that's cool. That's what I like to see also. They're resistant. They're not letting it do some crazy stuff. But it's super rare uh, when I heard that they're stealing cats from the Prius i I'm not a member right now, but I think it's not that easy. It, I mean, it's not that super comfortable to steal it. But maybe some people get in the same problem. I never heard about Prius C getting catalytic converter store. On the big one, yes. On the previous body style, 04, 09, yes. It's a common problem. They do still in catalytic converter. And it's it's gonna hard. It's gonna be for you hard to do the smoke check because you have to get the original one. The original one, it's super long period of time to wait. I think about six months right now. Uh, and the California law, you can do the smoke check. Blah 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 blah. So by buying this kind of car, all the any Priuses, you you getting yourself to the point of risk getting stolen catalytic converter from your car. So you can get protection, uh, think twice, maybe somebody already put protection. And also that's uh, because it's a common problem and people doing a lot of uh, not right stuff, you might gonna get the car, used one from the street, Craigslist, whatever, and it's gonna be Chinese cheap catalytic converter, you're never gonna pass the smoke check and uh, it's gonna be useless after a year or if you, sometimes you're buying the car from the Craigslist and the, the people saying, you know, this car ready for smoke, see all the monitors green, but you cannot jump under the car and check yourself if the catalytic converter is original or it's a Chinese. So again, you have to check it if you know. If you don't know, Google it, check it out uh, and uh, see what's going on. 
So put some thumbs up and put some comments below. Ask me if you want to ask me something. If you don't want to ask me, just say I'm doing a good job and uh, watch my other videos. See you guys soon.